Good morning, folks. The sun is waking up and we've got a return of solar flaring. We'll look at a satellite, baby solar system, and a giant X-ray signature in space. But we are starting with the last 24 hours on our star, and we find the large dark coronal hole incoming near the equator. Then, after a few filaments erupt on the south, top left, the incoming active regions begin firing. This morning, the rise has been very sharp, back up into M-class flare range already at the incoming sunspots, and that is the location of a complex sunspot group, and it's clearly producing eruptions as it turns onto the Earth-facing disk. You can see the umbral cores of the sunspots here, and just like that, the sun is awake. Eyes open. Happy birthday, New Star. This one launched not long after our channel began and has delivered an incredible decade of X-ray shots of the universe from deep space right to our sun's solar flaring activity. They are saying they see sulfur spectral evidence of baby planets forming around a star in the Orion Nebula. Interesting bit of space chemistry there and a solid animation here not only showing the jet in the disk but the astrosphere of the star always pointing away from the galactic center. It's the star's magnetic field. And that is a different kind of halo than the one in focus here. Now you see it, and now you don't. And you also don't see where it came from. We see plenty of galaxies in this image, but exactly where the strong X-ray signature is coming from is not so obvious. They say it's a giant plasma halos of the two galactic clusters and the particle interactions with each other and with the photoionization from the galaxy's stars. And that's what's causing the brightness in X-ray. The high energy light here invisible to human eyes. We greatly appreciate your support. Eyes on the sun today. We've got shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.